there. You're a wayfinder, yes? I'm Brother Megan. Are you here to help? I'm working to restore the old foundry. We can't just hide in Skylight. We need to reclaim the Highlands. I don't... Why are you asking me this? She told you I was a monk, did she? That I'd know about the trial. Even if I did, Aurelian was destroyed long ago. How would it help you now? I don't have time for this. You're chasing ghosts, and I need to look after the living. There's too many of those beasts out there, and my people can't fight them. You're a wayfinder. You're supposed to save us from the gloom. So save us! Get out there and fight! Clear a path for our next supply run. Help us! Then, maybe, we'll talk about Aurelian. already sent out the supply runners. The beasts will be back. They always come back. But you've bought us precious time, and I owe you an apology. I was angry, and honestly, part of me hoped you wouldn't return, that I'd never have to speak of Aurelian again. I know how that sounds, but you weren't there. But, here we are. You've driven back the gloom. I suppose I owe you answers about Aurelian and the trial of lingering light. And who better to help than the last surviving monk, eh? Very well. Let's talk. What do you know of the Celestial Architects, Wayfinder? The common creed, I imagine? The Architects imposed order on the primal chaos and shaped the world as we know it from the void. The Silver Codex is a penitent order within the Avar Church, tasked to record the wonders of the Architects' creation. We were peaceful scholars, until the first scribe twisted our path. 
The first, oh, she was driven, brilliant. She wasn't content to write odes to the architects. She wanted to unlock their mysteries, to claim their power. There is more to creation than the Avar Creed tells. There are ancient powers that have no love for humanity, precursors who were here before us, who despise the architect's creation. The monks in the Codex Halls were devoted solely to the Arcs, but within the Undercroft, they were exploring the forbidden secrets of the precursors. I was a loyal servant of the Arcs. I never faced the trial and never served in the Undercroft. I can't tell you what they were doing or how they died. I fled when the attack began. While I never faced the trial of lingering light, I have the medallion of one who did. Here. I hope it will allow you to reach the trial yourself. Megan's medallion has a gloom trace. You can use it to reach the trial. If what he says is true, we need to know what these monks were doing in the Undercroft.
long and winding path, but you persevered. I can feel the connection you've established. The Undercroft awaits. Other Wayfinders have explored the Codex Halls, but you will be the first to enter the echoes of the Undercroft, the heart of Aurelian. I'm almost afraid of what you may find. The Creed of the Avar Church warns of those who came before, mighty enemies of the Celestial Architects, ancient fiends who seek to tear down creation. Megan says that the Silver Codex was working with these precursors, that their first scribe sought to seize the power of the Architects. And I wonder... The creature who led the attack on Skylight... Was it a precursor? Did the Codex set the fall in motion? Aurelian may hold the answers. You'll find the entrance to the Undercroft in the Highlands, past Crossroads Foundry. Its entrance is surrounded by the ruined Ironstone Keep. Be careful. Geartooth scavengers have claimed that region. We've tried to negotiate, but they have no interest in peace. Be prepared for anything.
you encountered an Aurelian were a flawed form of Echo. They have the memories of the dead, but they aren't truly alive. They can only replay their past. We know that Aurelian was attacked just before it was destroyed. These remnants are reliving their final hours, fighting for their lives against a deadly enemy. We only saw monks and soldiers, not the invaders they're fighting. We need to know more. Thirty years ago, the fortress monastery of Aurelian was attacked by an unknown force. That battle ended when the core of Aurelian was consumed by darkness, what we now know as gloom. It's an old mystery, but we need to know the answers. Who attacked Aurelian? Who unleashed the gloom? Was it the monsters of the maze? Could it have been the Eldren? Megan said the first scribe of the Codex sought to seize the power of the Architects. Now the monks are trapped as remnants. Was this accidental or intentional? Return to the Undercroft. Try to learn more about what the monks were working on in their final hours. Find out who actually attacked Aurelian. We need to know what happened on that final day.
The Maze and the Imperium have been fighting over the West Reach for generations, and we've always believed that Aurelian was sacked by Maze Raiders. When you first encountered Avar soldiers in the ruins, I thought they were defending the monks. Now I see I was mistaken. They're Imperial Archons, the champions of the Avar Church. The Archons weren't protecting the monks, they were there to destroy them. And I think I know why. I should have seen it sooner. The Silver Codex was working with Shadow and Chaos. They were bargaining with ancient spirits. In the eyes of the Avar Church, these are vile heresies. The Archons are the champions of the Imperial Church. They fight monsters and fiends and punish heretics. Even so, I've never heard of them carrying out such a massacre. It's possible that the Codex posed such a grave threat that it was the only solution. Or perhaps the first gave them no choice. But there's a crucial question. What cast Aurelian into the gloom? We always thought it was the attackers who did this. Now I believe it was the first herself that she was working with the gloom until the attack unleashed it and destroyed them all. The first may not have been able to control the gloom, but if we can recover her work and refine it, we might be able to drive the gloom back and rebuild what we've lost. The first must have an arcane workshop deeper within Aurelian, a repository of knowledge where she conducted her most important experiments. I'm sure of it. And you must find it.
We need you to press deeper into Aurelian and the gloom. But to do that, you need a connection. Lord Halar has a few ideas. Yes. Yes. You see, the Archons stopped the first scribe. They must have entered her vault. They must have known where it was. But their remnants remain. Ha! Remnants remain. I like that. The remnants continue to fight their final battles. We just need to weave you into that story. Each remnant is just a thread. But I've pieced together a tapestry. I've crafted a gloom trace from all of the remnants you've battled. This should take you to a crucial moment of the battle. Use it. See where it takes you. See what the Archons are hiding. They're charging the complex! Archon Megan, why have you abandoned your post? Do you know what you've done? Take comfort in the light. The Architects are always with us. The Ark... Thank you. 
meet again, Wayfinder. No luck with the trial of lingering light. Light? I... I don't know what you mean. You... Of course. I suppose it was too much to hope I could hide from this forever. I am sorry, Wayfinder. I did not want to lie to you. But the truth... The truth is a shame that will stain my soul for as long as I live. I call myself Brother Megan, but I am no monk. I was once an Archon, a champion of the Avar Imperium, sworn to carry the light of the Architects to the darkest places. The monks of Aurelian were charged to chronicle the wonders of the Architects. We'd heard there was trouble at the monastery, that an evil force had taken root there. I thought we'd investigate, weed out the darkness, and save the innocent. I was wrong. Commander Creed said the monks were beyond redemption. He told us to slaughter them all. We could have saved them. We could have tried. We didn't bring justice to Aurelian. Only death. I couldn't stop it. But I wouldn't be a part of it. I fled, and Aurelian fell into the gloom. I couldn't go back to Avar, not knowing what the Archons truly were. So I remained. I became Brother Megan, and I've tried to help, and to heal. I was once an Imperial Archon, a champion of the Architects. When my commander told us we had to cleanse vile corruption from this region, I thought we'd be fighting the maze. As we approached Aurelian, the commander told us the monks had made contact with the ones who came before. He said that there could be no mercy, that only death could cleanse their souls. I believed him. I've seen the ghost plagues and fought in the maze. I expected the monks to be warped, slavering cultists, and I was ready to cut them down. I didn't expect to see tears. The monks in the Codex Halls were only initiates, little more than children. They knew nothing of the precursors, or the work being done below. But Creed told us to kill every living thing. Creed saw I had no stomach for the slaughter, and ordered me to guard the storerooms. But the screams... the smell of blood... I cast down my shield and fled. That's the only reason I'm still alive. Aurelian collapsed, and the ruins were consumed by shadows. No one else escaped. Everyone, monks, my brothers, everyone died in the darkness. Something's missing. We've seen the Archon Commander's final battle. He never reached the Inner Sanctum. If he didn't trigger the Gloom Collapse, who did? We still need a connection. I fled before it happened. I only witnessed it from afar. But maybe. The storerooms in Aurelian were filled with God's blood. Arcanic fuel. The monks had a massive stockpile. They must have needed it for something. The monks were getting God's blood from the largest mine here in the Highlands, what the Shrikes call the Bloodworks. Perhaps there's a clue there. Something to reveal the path forward. I won't ask you for forgiveness. I don't deserve it. Just know that Archon Megan died in Aurelium. What life I have left, I'll give to the people here. Good luck.
me. Have you seen a smoky worm? About so big from mall to tail? It was here a moment ago, and it slipped away before I could determine if it was venomous. Oh, Wayfinder, have you come to help me with my work? Has my... Uh, Lord Halar realized how important field research is? She did. She did! Oh, lovely. I have so many experiments for us to try together. Tell me, how are you with needles? Oh, and we'll need something for you to bite down on, certainly. <laughs> hmm, I suppose I can help with that. The Shrikes have been going in and out of the bloodworks for a while. I think they're using some sort of ore shard to form a connection. Search the rubble piles around the bloodworks. Should be easy to find one. Just look for a shard absolutely dripping in God's blood. Have fun with the Shrikes. Be careful in there. Now, where was that worm? Maybe if I adjust the ratio of shadow to chaos. I need some more data. I have to get into the gloom somehow. Oh, hi, Shard. Uh, let me just amplify the energies and bind it to you and... Huh, there we are. Connection. Are you sure I can't convince you to help with a quick experiment or two? Only a few needles. All right, you have what you need from me. The connection is strong. I'm sure you'll reach the bloodworks and won't be lost forever in the formless void. <laughs> Fairly sure. Oh, nothing. I'm sure you'll be fine. Mostly sure. Why are you going into the bloodworks anyways? Oh, I'm glad I made those adjustments then. I've been working on a spectral harvester, you see, and... Oh, I don't want to bore you with the details. You go on now. I still need to find that worm.
back. The worm wasn't venomous, which is superb news, as it did, in fact, bite me. But I'm, I'm curious if it could become venomous if I expose it to flora energy. Sorry, sorry. Was your expedition successful? You seem to be in one piece, and you weren't lost forever in the formless void, so that's something. Of course not. They've been dead for decades. But the spectral harvesters I planted on you may have been able to capture the traces you needed. Don't worry, they're entirely harmless. Mostly. Let me see. Yes, there we are. I'll infuse this into a resonance crystal and... There! Filled with the essence of sages. Oh, it should work. Oh, yes, of course. Come back when you have more time. Now, where was that vial of venom? We know that Aurelian collapsed in the gloom during the Archon attack. You've experienced the final moments of the Archon commander. He didn't do anything to trigger the collapse. If the Archons weren't responsible, it must have been the monks. That resonance crystal holds traces of some of the leaders of the Silver Codex. It can take you to their final moments. If these sages were responsible for the collapse, we may be able to use their techniques to control the gloom and undo the damage it has done. So go now and inquire of the dead.
No, it's not ready. If you activate the arc, it will destroy us all. History deepens. The sages were preparing a final defense, but they didn't destroy Aurelian. That must have been the first, and she spoke of the precursors. There was something about her. No. At the first trigger the collapse, surely she died with the rest of the Silver Codex. But this, this Conflux Arc could be the key. This is how they triggered the Gloom Collapse. It's ruined, but it's possible Lord Halar can learn something from it. Ah, our stalwart champion. Yes, Omen told me what you found. Dire news, to be certain. Yet with this storm comes a lining of brilliant silver, no? We have here an opportunity to study what could be considered forbidden knowledge. Leave this with me, Wayfinder, and I will find out what I can. Though learning anything of merit may take me some time. For now, I would return to Omen. I am sure she has need of you. Consider what we've seen. Aurelian collapsed and lost. Skylight attacked. Our world thrown into the gloom. And through it all, one common thread. The Precursors. Monsters from our myths. The Precursors. Those who came before. The ancient enemies of the Arks who opposed creation and were cast into the formless void. I formed the Seekers to find the truth behind the legends. There was a world that came before ours. There are ruins and relics that weren't built by human hands. The work of the Precursors. And now it seems. 30 years ago, the Codex was working with the Precursors, and Aurelian was pulled into shadow. And one year ago, a monster attacked Skylight and unleashed the gloom. I destroyed the Precursor that attacked Skylight. Are there others still out there? Was unleashing the gloom the extent of their scheme? Or is there worse to come? We need to know more. The first said she was hoarding the gifts of the Precursors in her repository of knowledge. It's time to seize those secrets. Lord Halar is still studying this Conflux Arc. But we have a minor victory. Your brush with the first gave us the traces we need. You now have a connection to the repository of knowledge. The entrance is deep in the Highlands. Past the crossroads foundry in the Ironstone Keep. Luck be with you, my friend. <laughs> 